blinded by the reflection of my cute baby. Can you see? Can you see my son in there? Can you see through the skin? <laughs> Can you see him in there? Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. <laughs> we are hanging out here in uh, Sheep's Meadow. That's right, I'm making a video without a shirt on because it's 80-something degrees out, finally, in New York. Uh, it's a Monday afternoon. We're here in Sheep's Meadow. You can hear the music in the background. That's uh, Joanna Erdos there. And why am I making this video? I'm making this video because, well, really, it's Monday, and I can. But here's why. I had a conversation uh, the other day. We went to go see um, King Lear um, last week. Great production from the Titan Theatre Company. And on the way home, we were on the train, talking with some of the actors, you know, blah, 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 talking about the life. And one of the performers was like, you know, she caters and... Um, she says she babysits? No, just caters, right? So she caters and she's just talking about how she has to shuffle her schedule and how tired she was getting. And you know, it's cool when you first get out of school, but then after a while you get tired. And again, this girl has a gig, you know? A paid gig, but she still needs to work. And what you'll find when you're a professional actor, when you're a real actor, is that acting jobs end and you gotta do something to the next gig. That's just how it is. So, you know, we were talking about the choices of waiting tables and catering and babysitting and working at Starbucks or whatever. And, you know, in between the acting gigs, I think a lot of people just getting out of school think, well, as soon as I get one gig, I'll start getting them all. And that's how I felt. I was like, all right, I got a national commercial. I guess the rest of my life will be gigs. But that's not really how it works. It just isn't. If you want to be a professional, just get used to that. Um, I'm not saying you're not going to suddenly... You know, you might just go one after the other, and that's great. Um, I hope, I, I want that for you, you know? Um, so, my solution, the one I talk about all the time, all the time, is having your own business. So, that's why I've done um, different uh, business makeovers for, for Kelly Scanlon, for the yoga teacher, for acting uh, coaches. Um, you know, I have friends who want to build aquariums like I... Like I wrote about No More Waiters. Um, one of my friends used to do video editing on the side. So like, these are things that are more in your control than someone's, than being someone's lackey. And I learned a lot of this from experience, but also just from learning business stuff. I've learned to take some of those lessons and put them into my acting career. So, I just made that video as kind of a primer for entrepreneurs because I'm finding a lot of people not understanding my thesis here. <laughs> So, that's it. If you want more, go to entreperformers.com. That's the blog. Um, if you want the book, you can go to nomorewaiters.com. Um, you get a bunch of stuff there. It's an awesome book. I just re, re, um, I recorded some audios, which should be available very soon. That's it. On a beautiful day here, I'll talk to you soon. Bye.